As daily life teaches, Murphy's Law reminds us, and the second law of thermodynamics formalizes, nature produces waste as it grows. Drawscape investigates the entire urbanized region as a waste product formed by and linked to economic and industrial processes. Waste in the urban landscape emerges out of an amalgamated zone of that which is considered vast and that which is waste. Drawscape, Wasting Land in Urban America is a guide to this vast, hitherto largely ignored, field of landscape waste. Coined in 2006 by Alan Berger, the term drawscape has since become popularized in broad professional disciplines. Berger documents the landscape waste accumulating in urban regions using aerial photography, novel forms of mapping, and a deep empirical understanding of the entropic processes behind waste formation. The book discovers that all urban waste is not equal and that America's largest forms of waste emerge out of two processes. First, as a consequence of current rapid horizontal urbanization, and second, as leftovers of previous economic regimes, catalyzed by the drastic decrease in transportation costs over the past century. Drawscape contains three sets of mappings that document waste formation at metropolitan scales for 10 major U.S. metro areas. The first set, called dispersal graphs, chart the continuous urban growth over 20 years from center to suburb, over four geographic quadrants. These graphs show that urbanization density drops drastically at about 12 miles outside central cores and increases again around 25 miles in the suburbs. This signifies a huge opportunity to densify the suburbs. The second set, called entropic indicators, displays the pattern of land uses in the city that are likely to lose value over time and become waste exposing signature patterns of waste typical in cities. For example, these mappings showed that in a concentric city, the signature pattern is circular, where the core has a dense concentration of wasted land uses, indicating high entropy. In fact, the 2008 economic crisis confirmed the signature as accurate. The third set, called spindle charts, tracks manufacturing loss or gain over 30 years, mapped over distance from the central core. It reveals an astonishing amount of growth in manufacturing 40 to 70 miles outside the central core in suburban areas. Drawscape also contains a brief manifesto for the challenge of designing with urban waste. A couple of highlights are that waste landscapes are a natural component of every dynamically evolving city, and thus an indicator of healthy urban growth. Therefore, planned and unplanned horizontalization around vertical urban centers is neither intrinsically bad nor good, but a natural result of growth. In addition to its intellectual merits, Drawscape has also received notable awards for its layout and graphic design, including ID Magazine's 53rd Annual Design Review Silver Medal for Design Distinction. Drawscape was named a Top 10 Planning Book by Planetizen in 2007. It has been reviewed in dozens of media outlets and has led to other commissioned research projects, including several grants from Toyota Research Institute of North America.